This is John Cola with OKRaw.com. Through another exciting episode for you, and I'm coming at you from the Pure Living Expo here in Sedona, Arizona, and I have a very special guest on my show today, one that I've never had before. I mean, he's a really hard guy to attract. Danny lives in Costa Rica and travels all over and does different uh, retreats and uh, consults at many different health events and does phone consults, but I'm glad he's here so that I could interview him because I truly look up to this man. I mean, this is Victorious Kolvinskis and all you old timers might know him. He wrote a really popular book life in the 21st century way back in the day and now he has a new book that he came out with and it's actually titled our elders speak so i really want to talk to him about this book and how it can help you in your diet whatever kind of diet you're living on especially if you're on a any kind of raw foods diet uh, but before we get into that i want to share with you guys that victorious has been doing uh raw living biogenic diet now for the last 50 years so he has a lot of experience in this and he's seen people doing this come and go and uh, before we get into talking about the book today we want to talk about another very important subject because he he has been doing it for so long he is getting up there in age and we're going to jump right into it victorious what is sex after 80 going to be like or do you think it's going to be like well it has been good up to now and as they say it, life gets better after 80. So I'm looking forward to that period. Uh, on Valentine's Day, just to test my own agility, I ended up doing 400 push-ups and sets of 50, and that turned out to be okay. No sore muscles or anything. This is something that as we grow older, we got to exercise more. And that includes exercising all our body parts. <laughs> awesome. So, I mean, another thing that's really uh, funny, but also important to ask you is, why are teenagers now using Viagra and it's like the number one party drug? You're so right on. Are you a teenager? No, no, no. I don't <laughs> are you need, using I don't, it? I don't need any of that stuff. I'm on okay. raw food, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's the problem. I mean, look at the stallions. I mean, on all that raw food diet eating, all those oats and greens and grasses. What's happening to them? Super studs. And what we have right now, 60% of, of the couples of reproductive age are sterile. The life expectancy of our children is that of seniors of many generations ago. In other words, they're expiring early. Our parents are going to outlive the children. You have to either get some life into your body or you'll be dead meat. Remember, that diet is a prophecy in itself. Spell it. D-I-E. That's what it's all about, your diet. No, you got to be into lifestyles. And lifestyles means eating, living foods, exercising, singing, getting enough rest, meditating, connecting with the Creator, creating the beautiful abundance that we have, the joy in your life. At the same time, stay out of the unsanitary environments so yes it's in the lifestyle as a matter of fact it's becoming the rage in the field of medicine do you realize apple which is like the biggest biggest corporation in the world it has a wellness department can you imagine that well they do say apple a day keeps the doctor away they got to keep up with their reputation of the apple so they have a wellness program and uh, primarily they had a professor from stanford university rah, rah, rah. they had a lecture given on have you taken your meds today now it's uh, the new are recommended daily activities what are the meds of the new age meditation exercise diet sleep sex and sensuality the triple s for that that's the future do you want to be alive get into life eat dead you become dead very early so we got to get the young into more living and more and more are doing it you think that 
beer drinking and eating those big sandwiches and getting stoned is the way to go. Uh, uh, there's a whole group called Yes International Youth for Environmental Sanity. Are you saying they're into veganism, meditation, environmental awareness? Because we're on a sinking ship unless we get you guys to get engaged. Get off your butts and start navigating this planet Earth ship into aliveness. That means start planting gardens in your backyard. Even if it's pot, it's okay. Yeah, especially if you eat it raw. It totally, it's, or juice it. Yeah, but There's so many different ways to get high. You got a choice between alkaloids like marijuana, cocaine, ooh, God, nasty stuff, or alkalis. Alkaloids temporarily give you a sense of alkalinity and you feel vital, but it brings in cousins like coffee is a good popular at Starbucks. Happy hour of writing my the novel of my life. My new play is popping up. I'm creating all kind of wonderful music. Nah, that's after two hours, you're into your old self. Unless you go back to Starbucks, drop another five bucks. Well, with that five, you can go over somewhere else and get alkalized. Get a green juice and get high. Drink some wheatgrass, get high. That's maintainable. You can be stone high all day long, writing songs, downloading the cosmic divine creator and sharing it. Life will become totally newbie and you will become the real you. Because unless you are you, you are just BS instead <laughs> of be you. Let's get on with life. Is well, that right on? Yeah, that's pretty right on. I mean, I have a video where actually I got high on raw cannabis. And, the, and you'll have to watch the video. I'll put a link down below. I got high on raw cannabis for 10 hours. <laughs> like really high. So I, I recommend you guys don't do that because actually one of the things that I learned, I really did not leak being high from raw cannabis if made in a certain way, all raw. And so I am high on life, you know, on an alkaline rich diet naturally. And when I got high with these natural THC compounds, I really didn't like it and wanted to be over so I could get back to my normal natural yeah, highness. 24 hours a day, seven days a week with boundless energy. And it's totally it's good better. to experiment to see what really is the way to go for the future. Do you want to be fully alive, dancing, having a joyous occasion, uh, dating uh, the young beauties who are 120 year olds or going out with 34 year olds? It doesn't matter. It's ageless society. My cousin in her 70s dating 30 year old guys. It's not because she goes out and asks for a date. They're hitting on her. Raw foods. The same thing is for maleness. We have moved out of that aging into a place where at 500 you can be just as young as you are at 12. Absolutely. So, Victoria, so, you know, I know you've seen a lot of changes over the years in the raw foods movement. What's being one of the biggest uh, problems you've seen in the raw foods movement which causes people to fail? Well, probably overeating, getting involved with a lot of the sweet fruit, uh, and also just basically not addressing life from a holistic point of view. So many raw foodists lack in exercise. Many raw foodists don't meditate. Many raw foodists don't detoxify and fast. So five years later go by and they're still pretty toxic even though they've been on live foods. You got to get that old stuff out of your system through fasting, through all kind of cleansing techniques. Then all of a sudden your iris will change. I had a black iris. Black. Right now it's blue green. Yeah. It has changed. 50 years ago it was black. Matter of fact, famous iridologist says in a lecture where I attended, he had me as a demo. He says, here's an example of a walking zombie. He <laughs> says, if he hadn't gotten into raw foods, he would be definitely all dead. Well, many years later, cleansing and detoxification all changed. My face, instead of being covered with acne and pimples, losing hair, going into grayness, you know, right now in my late 70s, no 
pimples, no warts, no brown spots, aging yeah. spots, liver spots, none of that kind of stuff. It's all possible. You can clean up your inner act and outer act shows it. And also vitality. I'll dance like crazy tonight at Hippocrates. We do 90 minute marathons of disco. I'm there from start to finish. You know, that's what's possible. I couldn't do that when I was you know, much older biologically, 50 years ago, now it's another issue altogether. Get charged on alkalinity, enzymology, oxygenation. That's where life process begins. So, Victorious, you talked about eating too many sweet fruits. Now, are you saying sweet fruits are bad and we should never eat them? Or, or oh, what's your no, opinion no. on that? Overeating of anything, even salads, will totally be destructive. The whole idea is moderation and all your intakes. And so, a fruit salad of two to three cups at most, it's a great breakfast. Uh, not every day, but a couple times a week or even more frequently, unless you are dealing with some incurable disease, which is really curable on a live green oriented and there's no cure by the way only hams can be cured no instead what is happening is that the body is self-healing self-regenerating self-renew just like you get a cut it heals your hair grows back uh, everything your nails grow back a human body is continuously renewing itself and you might have a mess made a mess out of your life but change the lifestyle habits and once again your body's forgiving renewing you regenerating you all you have to do is return to the source awesome so I mean one of the things you just talked about was like eating a high green food uh, diet so what's one really important reason why somebody should eat greens because I see so many people out there really concentrate on fruit and not eating enough greens why should people out there watching this video that are not eating enough greens well, or just eating a head of romaine a day really expand out to different kind of sprouts and microgreens yeah. and different varieties of kale and chard and all the deep leafy mm -hmm. greens why are they so beneficial wheatgrass and well last all that year stuff. in the, the olympics uh, they did an interview of the competitors and they asked them what do you have for breakfast a green protein smoothie all of them said that what wow. do you have for lunch a huge green green salad and some protein evening what are you eating for evening meal huge green salad and some protein one of the strongest man alive you can look him up google up little hercules you know raw vegan protein and greens complex carbohydrates fruit is okay but greens is where the power lies this is where the friendly bacteria coexist within your body and they do all kind of beneficial things they keep they tonify your brain your gut brain becomes amplified so that you are functioning with divine order you're downloading the creation without effort life becomes a synchronicity of positive events that's how beautiful life is intended to be whereas you know on a diet of a lot of fruit mm, just keep on eating more and more munchies, 125 bananas a day. You are in a state of ongoing yeast feasting. Your yeast are just diving, having a banquet inside of you. And they're making tons of alcohol. So without knowing it, you can be quite intoxicated. It's poisonous, that stuff that is produced in the GI tract. So a little bit the yeast don't get a chance to take over. Your predominant theme should be greens, complex carbohydrate greens, soak seeds and nuts. These are the super power foods. All right, Victoria, so let's talk about the seeds and the nuts because I know a lot of people out there might do low fat, raw vegan diet. You know, what percentage overall of calories should, do you believe somebody should get from fat? But see, it's not just nuts and seeds, it's fermented and activated nuts and seeds, which are actually different than just the standard nuts and seeds, right? Mm -hmm. Totally different. They're pre-digested and also they're low in fat. Once you activate the hydrolytic enzymes in the seed, they become pre-digested by these enzymes converting that 60 to 80 percent fat of your macadamia nut or 60 percent in the walnut or in the sunflower seed and it's converted to essential fatty acids which are important to nerve tongue 
nerve and brain development and uh, hormone development and uh, this is easily assimilable by your system and you don't have that bloated feeling, that hard struggle to digest all this greasy food and also very many people are allergic to many of the nuts, especially peanuts, allergic to, wall, uh, excuse me, to almonds, many are allergic to cashew because of this high complicated protein and fat structure. So pre-digesting it by either soaking it or just taking the nuts and seeds, blend them to a, cream, to, to a cream with water and introduce some friendly bacteria and they will pre-digest it for you instead of the enzymes in the seed doing the pre-digestion. So you have also the new benefits of fermentation working on the nuts and seeds instead of on the cabbages and the sauerkrauts and the kimchi. Awesome. So what percentage overall do you recommend uh, or range of fat uh, total in a you know, healthy raw foods, plant-based diet, live food? Basically, uh, I don't look at life. I look at whole foods and what is required to maintain your body strength, vitality, uh, ner nerve quality, as well as mental clarity. And in terms of overall percentage, I would say it's somewhere, it's about uh, somewhere around 10 to 15, 20%. Uh, you should be getting it from whole foods. You should not be using olive oil or coconut oil if you do, small amounts, especially the younger you are, the more you can tolerate. But once you get into more advanced age, like 30, uh, you want to just kind of shy away in order to have mental clarity because all these fats causes your red blood cells start clumping together and delivering less oxygen to your brains, to your whole extremity, so you don't feel as vital as you could be. And they're difficult to digest, so it takes much longer to digest fatty foods. So no oils, no nuts or seeds. Instead, if you use nuts and seeds, soak them overnight. Then they become quality foods with low fat and protein. So it should come out of food itself, out of the avocado, out of the olives. Instead of having olive oil, you have olives. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, I agree with the whole food message because that's very important. Even on a raw food diet, many raw foods still eat plenty of packaged bottled and prepared foods you know i want you guys to eat from mother earth yeah and eat uh, the foods of nature fresh fruits fresh vegetables sprouts nuts and seeds that have been activated there's a large uh, division of medical community called pcrm.org physicians committee for responsible medicine and basically they've taken the posture that not only is veganism when well chosen is adequate nutritionally but also anything contrary to veganism is contrary to good health and their overall premise is no oil only what you get in the food and I think it's a good one awesome so now Victoria I want to get into this uh, book that you uh, were one of the four authors in it's actually just called a uh, feel better feel younger our elders speak health and living food experts health longevity happiness discover the real key to vibrant health longevity and happiness and this is a panel discussion book, so it contained uh, uh, Fred Bishi, Brian Clement, uh, Rabbi Gabriel Cousins, MD, and Victorious Kovinskis. So uh, collectively, all these uh, authors That's have up. over 200 years of experience in raw food. So they've been doing it a long time. They've seen people doing raw foods come and go, and they have many of them have a clinical and a personal experiences uh, seeing what happens when people eat you know different styles of raw foods whether that's a uh, you know a lot of gourmet foods a lot of fruit a lot of this a lot of that and in this book there's over 150 questions that they ask each of these individuals and each of them give a different answer some of the answers will be similar and some will be different and so if you've had a lot of questions about raw foods i mean the, the answer is probably in this book. Let's just go ahead and flip mm -hmm. into one of these uh, pages. Even so, what we're doing is creating a living Wikipedia for the healing arts with this book. You'll find our website, our email, and all these other qualities, our elderspeak.com. You can go and start linking up and we're going to have chat rooms. We're going to basically doing everything possible to spread the truth throughout 
the world so that people can, when they want to have a cost-effective, minimalistic, self-regenerating dietary approach that is within everybody's budget and accessibility. And miracles can happen in your life within the context of diet and the holistic lifestyle because we're very much into holistic lifestyle. I completely agree and one of the things I want to let you guys know about is you know in our society we're taught this is right this is wrong and maybe your guru the person you listen to the most that you may have learned about raw foods from they do it this way so you follow them and they said that you know drinking juice is bad or this is bad or high fat or eating nuts and seeds is bad so you don't do it I want you guys to remain open and flexible to change your approach when you get new information and don't always believe what the gurus or whoever even if it's written in this book believe it but do your own research and mm -hmm. you know the, the the key to this book is that there's four people that have been doing this for uh, you know many 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 years and have seen people come and go and are putting their expertise into this book so for example we're gonna ask Victoria's question number 32 today because there's 150 of them and actually I've looked through this and there's some really good questions so question 32 is uh, Victoria's it cannot be denied that a high calorie, high sugary fruit diet is becoming very popular worldwide and there are many cases of high fruit eaters excelling in marathons, bike races and other elite competitions. Is this fool's gold? Long term, does this type of diet correlate with a longer life than standard American diet? I think it probably is uh, going to be leading to a longer quality of life than the average American diet because the average American diet is a sad diet and it shows that everybody is in a state of inflammatory condition. The immune system is basically working 24-7 to just to deal with the toxemia associated with dietary choices and all form of degenerative diseases are developing within these individuals uh, whereas on a fruit diet you don't have. You've got at least an enzymatic nutrition and basically something that is relatively easy to handle and if you have a lot of physical activity you might be able to burn all this off but there's alternative to all of this which is the alternative is eating food in a small quantity and encouraging the proliferation of friendly bacteria versus yeast bacteria. Your total health picture, longevity, and quality of life is totally determined by the microbial cultures you coexist. On the standard American diet, they are existing with the rotting corpse culture, the t basically parasites, the maggots, uh, and also all the pathogenic microbes and viruses are part of the animal protein diet. And you can see what happens on that diet. You need all kind of heavy usage of soap, breath refresheners, all kind of other conditions and the fecal matter is so bad that even if you compost nothing will grow on it. That's basically the nature of the beast. Uh, that's whereas on a fruit diet you're basically encouraging the proliferation of yeast that is going to be making alcohol, devitalizing you over the long run. Here you're on a sugar rush during those athletic events and great you can do fantastic I have a whole program for athletes I work with Olympic athletes so many times over the last years in my history and we had them on primarily the biggest contributor was enzymes probiotics and blue green algae in terms of taking an athlete who is average in terms of performance and then taking converting them into super athletes where they compete in athletics decathlons coming in like Dan O'Brien as an example in the Atlanta Olympics from a very debilitating athlete who could work out only an hour within a matter of two months he was working out seven to eight hours a day just by the intake of these superfoods that are foundational and then we have also other star athletes who are raw foodists, who are breaking in their senior years, breaking the records that they set when they were in, yes, in college, when they went on scholarship of athletic performance. This is possible. And what? Sprouts, sea vegetables, uh, fermented foods. These are the superfoods that require very little instead of having yourself blown up with, you know, a meal of 15 bananas. I can't even imagine eating 15 bananas without the thought. I mean, after the second or third, it's totally revolting. 
It's gluttony, and gluttony is not good, whether it's raw or cooked. I totally agree. I mean, I want to encourage you guys to seek balance. If you're eating a lot of fruit, man, I want to encourage you guys to balance it out with greens, you know. I'm glad that this is my 20th year doing raw foods and I've seen people in natural hygiene and, and doing an Ann Wigmore green diet and you know if you ask me, John, which one do you do? Do you do you know the hygiene diet or an Ann Wigmore diet? Well, guess what? I take the best of both worlds and that's mm -hmm. what I want you guys to do for you and find out if you want to do a 75% Wig more, you know, uh, you know, Victorious Kolvinskis, you know, green, you know, sprouted nuts and seeds Just diet and biogenic diet and 25% and fruit or 75%, 25%, but experiment and find out what's the best for you because I don't want you guys to get stuck in a box because, oh, I'm a fruitarian or I do 80, 10, 10 and I can't do that other stuff. Do it all. Nobody, you make your own rules up. Mm. Yeah, you've got all the time in the world. I mean, on Live Food Program, whatever you're choosing, you can experiment, find what really works out in the long run. And you will find in the final evaluation that small meals, highly concentrated foods, foods that is high in biogenic, namely either sprouts and or baby greens and or all the ferments, these are the foods that are giving you the highest vitality, mental clarity, agility, maximum power in terms of overall performance. And these are the foods for longevity. I mean, that's absolutely true and I wanna encourage you guys to reach out and reach for more of those foods, grow them yourself, you know, ferment your own foods at home and more importantly, you're gonna to wanna to purchase this book so they can get on the right track. Even if you read this book and you don't believe anything in there, Something in there might just, you know, change a little bit, change your course. And, you know, if they're flying to Hawaii from San Francisco and they just change it by, you know, when they take off, if they change it and get off course a little bit, they could end up, you know, in the other side of the world and right. end up off course. And I don't want you guys to end up off course on a raw foods diet, right? By just, uh, you know, following people teaching on YouTube. You no, know, we should really be listening, at least taking part of their suggestions into our consciousness, into our being, and, and utilizing some of the knowledge and information from our elders that have written this book that are still alive today that haven't gone the way of the dinosaurs like many others doing different kind of diets that are not succinct, succinct with longevity. So to order this book and to learn more, you want to check out ourelderspeak.com. Very important. I highly encourage you guys to go to that website right now, buy this book, read it, and start implementing something. You don't have to like convert your whole diet to this, you know, green style no. diet overnight, but just make it's, moves in the right it's direction. It's an attitude modification. And yeah. Add it, yeah, and you'll learn at the rate your body wants to go to and you'll start feeling better because of implementing some of the techniques and ideas shared in this book, I guarantee it. And no matter what kind of dietary orientation you have, take time out to meditate, take time out to exercise, and not every couple days, exercise every day for one, two, even three hours as time makes itself available. Get to spend time also in the sun and also just be experiencing grateful come from contribution find a reason for living that usually means extending yourself beyond your own limited scope and being of service to others taking them to the next level as we are never alone we're social beings and remember our greatest socializers are our probiotics they're having a party inside of your body right now orgies galore they're reproducing they're just laughing and giggling as they're munching away on sprouties and raw fiber. Awesome, Victoria. So, Victoria, I know you do consultations. If somebody wants to get a hold of you personally and uh, you know draw from your over 50 years of knowledge leading this style lifestyle, you also do retreats and hold seminars all over the world. Yeah. How can somebody get a hold of you to do all this stuff? Well, they can just go to victorasretreats.com or victorasconsultations.com and uh, you'll find that uh, what kind of services are available and also my retreats are in Costa Rica as okay. well as also at Hippocrates, West Palm Beach, where we do the health educator training program where individuals become versed in the lifestyles of this biogenic lifestyle nutritional orientation and end up going out helping other people that's amazing yeah I mean that's one of my purposes in life it keeps me alive it keeps me going every day by being able to grow my own food eat this healthy diet and share with you guys I mean this is what I live for I almost lost my life as did Victoria's 
when he was younger he had That's right. health challenges extreme i didn't probably even have anything nearly as bad as victor's but it also turned my life around i'm glad and i'm happy and one of my goals and purposes in life is to share this with others so i'm glad you have taken the time today to watch this video and i want to encourage you to take the next step and once again reach out and get that book it can change your life i'll be reading this and implementing things that I probably didn't know even after 20 years because you know I want you guys to be an empty teapot don't think you know it all because nobody can know it all even after 20 years even after 50 years totally. the course I... doesn't know it all and you can learn more you must be open and it starts by getting a book reading it and seeing what makes sense to you and implement small changes you know and in the end you will be healthy because of it and in the end you know i will have uh, done my part to so that the world can be a healthier place one person at a time just by making a simple video uh, nice. so victorious are there any last uh, words to my viewers out there that you want to share with them last week i was among some of my friends who i've known for years i haven't seen them for quite a while they were macrobiotic one of the women there was 15 years macrobiotic. She claims not only cured an incurable cancer herself, but also she helped another thousand people. And I blessed her for it. I try to explain my position and close mine. However, she appreciated me and loved the way I handled her. Now, without the knowledge that she had about holistic living and the way the human body works, macrobiotics can be helpful. It has removed the causes of many things, yet she is suffering with severe itchiness, shingles all over her body. Yet in the medical community, they treat shingles successfully, 100% success with what? Enzyme saturation. And you know, and this is something that you find success in curing her cancer. She is alive when the doctor says she should be dead, yet she's doing great. There's people who might have rescued their life on a fruitarian diet, and now they're doing alive. But that doesn't mean that it's the only direction to go. Be open to the wider scope and see how it aligns with your long-term goals. And is it gonna be something that is gonna be sustainable? Awesome, Victorious. Yeah, so I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. I'll try to have Victorious on in the future. Also, be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 450 episodes wow. on this channel to teach you guys about my healthy lifestyle. And also, be sure to check out my other channel that's very important, growingyourgreens.com, where I have over 1,050 mm. videos teaching you guys how to grow your own wow. food at home. And uh, yeah, um, also, he be sure is to subscribe. My favorite on all the interviews I ever done. I mean, this guy rocks. Not only energetically drama and information and having an open mind. And remember, if the mind is, if as a parachute, if you don't keep it open, guess what? You're going to crash. <laughs> like that. So open up your mind so that you can fly to your destination. Awesome, Victorious. Well, so once again, this is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next it's time. It's all okay. <laughs> Until then, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables, sprouted nuts and seeds, and sprouts as well. And today we have another exciting episode for you, and we're coming at you from the 2014 Woodstock Fruit Festival here in New York, and it's been a great time. We're coming in near the end of the festival, but before everybody disbanded and leaves, I wanted to show